This video will show how to use the background removal solutions that were added to Twisted Brush Pro Studio in version 16.14. Um, here I have a common situation where you have a solid color uh, background and uh, maybe one or multiple objects you're trying to uh, separate out and use within another uh, picture. Uh, typically it's a pretty easy uh, situation to deal with. However, uh, in most cases you'll find that if you zoom in that the object has been uh, feathered at the edge. You have anti-aliasing against the background so you have a white border. Um, so I'll show you what commonly happens uh, which makes it a little bit trickier to get it just right. So typically we may say use the paint bucket tool with the erase connected uh, adjust mode and you click and drag and you see it's not always easy to get exactly right and when you do you still might have a little bit of a, a white outline or halo around your objects. Um, I'm going to undo this. The red background you're seeing here is the layer underneath this uh, image with the uh, solid white background. So rather than uh, trying to manually do it each time, uh, another option for you is to use the solutions. Uh, go to background removal and here there's a series of uh, nine solutions that have been added. Pick the item which or the selection which closely matches what what you have uh, here. So photo anti-alias means uh, you have a photograph uh, anti-alias edge and there's actually two options here. You have preview and you can see it does um, does a fairly decent job. It doesn't uh, erase areas you didn't expect it to and you don't have the white halo. Um, notice if I pick the option here of uh, photo non anti alias and do preview you do end up with that uh, white halo because it's not trying to make up for the the anti alias thing that had occurred between the back white background in this case and the objects so i'm just going to go and uh, select here the second uh, uh, clips uh, two option and just say preview that looks pretty decent apply and exit and and now we're done. So what would you do with these afterwards? That's when you could use the, um, for example, the copy tool, open up the clips panel, and select the box, and now you've created your object for use anywhere else, such as with, um, and you could do that repeatedly, of course, with these are all with a transparent background, a feathered edge, all done pretty easily. So you can go to the paste tool, for example, and now you're you know pasting with uh, your object. Or of course, uh, see the other videos for how to do use the transform mode to rotate and scale. So that's one of the uh, solutions to work with photos. I'm going to switch pages here. Uh, here's another case, uh, text on a white background. You would think, again, that this would be fairly easy, but again, it adds a little bit of complexity because uh, of the feathering that is going to have occurred. So what I'm going to do is go back to the solutions, uh, background removal. Now, if I just pick the photo anti-alias clips and say preview, uh, oops, I'm not on the right layer. Let me exit out of that, go select the correct layer, solutions, background removal. If I just went and said photo, anti alias and preview, you could see that it's not really doing a very good job. You got the gaps here because the photo uh, solution is not trying to fill in areas uh, other than the connected background areas. So if we go to text, uh, anti alias clips one, preview, see we've removed that now apply and exit um, and keep in mind this is a solid we were working with solid backgrounds and not uh, anything which has uh, complexity those won't be removed properly with the solutions 